it is time for us to take a look at sports. And uh, in sports, uh, Vlad Guerrero uh, hit a home run. He powered the AL to another win over the National League in the All-Star game. And what's interesting about the All-Star game nowadays, I don't know if Bill Krasowski is still listening or not, but um, the American League domination uh, in the All-Star game is, is pretty amazing. And why do I say that? Well, simply because there was a time when I was growing up where the National League won it like, I, I, I want to I say 20 years in a row. But now they haven't won a game since 2012. But I remember the National League used to dominate the American League. But I really lost all respect um, for the All-Star game uh, when they ran out of pitchers. Remember that several years ago? You know, you take a look at the All-Star games played in the 60s and 70s, and maybe even early 80s, and take a look at the All-Star games played now. I mean, they were rough and tumble. The All-Star Games. They were rough and tumble. Uh, it was like it was just a regular season game. Uh, and uh, all these All-Star Games now are totally different. Totally different. But the, my feeling is, have your home run derby in baseball. Uh, have your All-Star voting. Have a big charity dinner where they announce all the All-Stars. And people can attend. And they can raise, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars for a charity. I think the same thing for the uh, National Football League. I think that should be done there. Um, you know, just announce the All-Star team, have a big weekend where people can come, and then have a big dinner that raises lots of money because it's covered on TV. Because they're not really playing the sport the way it, it's meant to be played. In my opinion, anyway. National Hockey League is about as close as you can get, but even that. Um, and the NBA, the All-Star game, I mean, what are they? they? They score almost 400 points between two teams there. So all these All-Star games have lost a little luster, in my humble opinion. And it's only my humble opinion. <laughs> okay, uh, But it's just the way I feel. Uh, it's just, it, you know, it's not like it used to be. And I know I'm now part of the generation that say, oh, when I was a kid. But really, all you have to do, if, if you're 25 or 30 years old, go, uh, Google video of an all-star game in baseball from the 1970s and watch the whole game. You'll see something amazing. Uh, Google NFL football. And see the way NFL was played back in the 70s and 80s. It's a different game now. Um, it really and the All-Star games really have have they're just they're not as exciting as they used to be. Well, anyways, the AL won five to two uh, in in the All-Star game. And Bill Krasowski says nothing is what it used to be. It's true, but I really lost respect for the All-Star game when they just called the game off because they didn't have enough pitchers. I mean, that was embarrassing. That was about as embarrassing as you can get. Now, it's almost as embarrassing as how my New York Yankees are doing this year. We're at the All-Star break. The Yankees are three games over 500. Uh, they're um, eight games out of first place. They're four and a half games out of the wild card. And it's just been an embarrassing year. If you're a Red Sox fan... Been a hell of a year so far. You're 55 and 36. You've got a game and a half lead over Tampa Bay. Now let's switch over uh, to the National League. If you're a Mets fan, you got to be happy. The Mets are 47 and 40. They're in first place. They have a three and a half game lead. They've got pitching and they do have some hitting. Could this be the year for the Metsies? Who knows? But it certainly looks like it's going to be the year that the Mets will own the back page of the sports section, not the Yankees, unless something dramatic happens, and I don't think it's going to be. I mean, every time you think the Yankees are going to do something dramatic, like the other night, leading 7-2 going into the end of a game, losing it. <laughs> losing it. Uh, it's just, you know, it, they just, they're just missing something this year. 
Just missing some. Biggest sports disappointment for me. You know, uh, it would be, you know, I mean, like the Giants, they're slowly getting better each year. And if the Giants get good, where they go 10 and 6, 11 and 5, five or six years in a row, and then all of a sudden, boom, the bottom drops out, I'd be disappointed. I mean, there's other things in the world to be upset about, but, you know, you, you follow a team, you're a fan, and uh, you like it when they win. Uh, when they win a lot, you expect it. And when they don't win, you're disappointed. Not mad. Disappointed. Well, anyways, that's my sports sermon for today. And uh, we'll see if Mike ever comes back this week. <laughs>